Welcome to Toronto After Dark 2012 opening night. Um, now Magazine today described our festival as um, a feast of blood, beasts, and beer. I think I just love that. Come here, Tavo. Tonight's film is brought to you by a bunch of sexy babes. The Soska twins, the Twisty twins, the twinning something. Anyways, it's really, really awesome. The reason that we did the effects in American Mary the way we did is because we had John Carpenter's The Thing. We had a lot of really good practical effects. And when you use CGI, it's really something that is supposed to be used as embellishments. It takes the, the project. project. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed to, you know, just pretty it up, like putting makeup on. I said, do you have anything that we can make cheap? And he said, I've got this thing. It's basically Walter Mitty meets Travis Bickle. And that's kind of where this came from. So we sat and developed the script for several months. And then he wrote the first few drafts. I wrote the last few drafts. And that was the origin of credit. I want to start with an apology. Oh, God. Um, longest credits ever because we want to credit every yeah. single zombie in the film. So. Oh, <laughs> give it up for the ultimate zombie appreciation. Well, Mark, why don't you guys come on and give us a demo? Here we go. So lucky. I mean, Thank God that the script had some humor already in it so that when guys like Brian and Bubbles and Harlan read it, they were like, okay, yeah, you kids are trying. Why don't I come in and just help out a little bit? And for me, you know, it's the biggest part I've ever gotten to play. I mean, if you know my, uh, oof, what? Is that the right word? <laughs> I come in and I say something stupid and I leave normally. And in this, I got to be in a bunch of scenes and got to be this cool character and, and uh, oh, cool character. <laughs> It was a blast. I mean, I love the script, and then I'm really proud of the way it came right. out. What kind of movie are we going to try and make here? First of all, what is the budget of the movie we have? I mean, that's always a consideration. What is the scale of the movie? And uh, if we don't have the money to blow up the world, which we didn't, then um, how do we make something that is going to be more of an internal story and more of an intimate ultimately like a film noir type of story. Within a couple months it had millions of hits and it started to kind of become almost cult-like as far as the trailer goes and and um, it really was the catalyst for the success of the film. We owed entirely to, to the internet. The, there wasn't a lot of money behind making the first film. This movie had a ten, ten times the budget as the first one and, and uh, yeah, I think we, we actually used real YouTube reviews. Yeah, the story was conceived from uh, Aaron and myself and Pete and Vinny had worked on a really low budget beer commercial together. And, uh, and we just worked together really well. And, uh, and yeah, and I, and I was interested in doing, I guess, a Cabin in the Woods horror film that was closer to my experiences growing up. Because unfortunately when I was growing up, I could never get a bunch of hot girls to go to a Cabin in the Woods with me and hang out and drink beer and stuff. The only reason I've ever heard of people going out to the boonies of San Diego is, uh, is what, Aaron? Oh, we've we done this before? <laughs> uh, to shoot guns, avoid paying your taxes, and drink a bunch of beer and do math. This movie, when you're watching it, if you ever see sushi on screen, it actually appears on screen once. No, it's like all through the whole movie. You're supposed to yell at the screen, SUSHI! And if you ever see someone in danger, which is all the time, you're supposed to yell, DANGER! <laughs> state then and that kind of inspired the whole you know what would you do to move ahead like how far would you go and what would you do to steal someone's identity and that so yeah I, I started uh, writing writing uh, I think I wrote my first script when I was about 10 and it was really bad and, and nobody encouraged me uh, and, uh, and then I spent about, about many years alone in my bedroom playing the guitar and uh, but actually I think um, you know Making films and uh, making records, it's a, there's a similar kind of process, and uh, um, 
Actually, I, I'd been writing scripts for about 10 years before I finally got this one made. Mostly because of the movies I watched, you know, when I was a kid, like the classics from Universal Studios, you know, from movies like The, the Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, movies from AKO Studios, you know, Cat People, Freaks, all these movies. You know, I used to love them, but I still do. But when I watched them as a kid, you know, I was really freaked out with them. I, I enjoyed very much. And also, also I grew up watching in the theaters, you know, American Werewolf in London, The Howling, Gremlins, all those movies, you know. So, I think, you know, probably you could see clearly, you know, where the inspiration came from. <laughs>